Today, we're gonna check out the new episode of Summertime Rendering. Now, man, we've seen so much go down and there's just so much like sus on everybody, right? Shinpei is just sus of everyone except Mio. He doesn't really know, man. He doesn't know who's a shadow, who's not, especially after like, like what happened in the house. That was, that was all creepy. Like the previous episode, Great. Every episode so far has been great. I'm interested in finding out more about So in this situation. Is he a shadow? Because that was really weird that he went to go do a thing, but he's not really talking too much about what it was. Kind of sus. Shinpei did end up leaving everyone at the festival to go and chase Ushio, who I don't even know if he's actually saying. She, she, she might not actually exist. It is weird that he has these like glitchy moments, and I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the eye and Ushio, and I don't know what's happening, but I am intrigued. So with that said, let's just jump into it. Though, before we do, as it turns out, most of you are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the content that we make here, then like the video and consider subscribing because you can help us reach our goals by the end of the year with just one click. And if you want to see unedited versions of our seasonal anime reactions, plus even exclusives for freshest patrons that won't be cut up for YouTube for quite a while, you can join our Patreon. Link in the description. She turns around. But is she really there or is he just imagining this shit? Oh, maybe she is there. Do you have the necklace, sir? Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. Wait, hold on. Maybe he is a shadow. If she can do this and not remember, I'm just saying, if she can think she's just normal without thinking she's a shadow, what if that's him? I'm just saying. What the fuck? You a bitch, Shinpei. Oh, she loves you. I mean, I knew that was going to be what it was, but still. Well, actually, I didn't know that's what it was. I thought that he loved her. I didn't know necessarily that she loved him. Or at least I thought she loved him, but not like in a romantic way. Like I knew she cared for him. But I didn't think it was like a romantic love. Whereas I think his, I feel was obvious it was a romantic love for her, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Honestly, I never really thought too much about her and her feelings and everything because she's fucking dead. Like, I didn't think she would actually like have a moment like this. That's just kind of unexpected, you know? Buzzy with feelings of love. Hmm. So I'm wondering, is she going to be visible to people? Are people going to see her and be like, what the fuck, Ushio, you dead. How are you here? Or is she just like invisible to people? Oh, people do see her, bruh. Oh, shit, true. I don't like that. Wait, what if she like somehow escaped death? That's stupid actually, now that I think about it. Bro, what the fuck? You trying to kill this man? Damn, trying to take him out. Of course you did. What the fuck? Bro, don't make her think she's crazy. What the fuck? Do you not understand that you are dead, bro? Hey, bro, you need to kill her, bro. She needs to get gone. Or just bring her out and then, like, have the shadows come around and... No, but what if they, like, get... What if she gets tortured? She's some sort of science experiment type of shit, you know? It's tough. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's the move, you know? I don't... Wait, wouldn't the shadow just know that stuff anyways? They became, right? Oh, 
I mean, she probably is watching too somewhere. She don't need to be there in spirit. She's there in body. Oh, he wanted to talk about how he like you. Oh, shit. Nah, no balls. He ain't gonna do it. It's no shot. She's gonna look over at you, bro. Oh, this is gonna be so cringe. Please don't do it. And this is where she looks over at our boy. Watch, she's gonna look over at our boy right now. Welcome to heartbreak. Damn. Bro, with that bright blonde hair, who else could she be? She has the necklace and everything. Oh my gosh, she's fucking stupid, bro. Bitch, you dumb as shit. <laughs> You're so fucking stupid. What did, would they not recognize your voice? Would they not recognize the fucking necklace? Would they not recognize the hair? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Duh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh? Oh wait, that's not the real him. Wait, where the fuck is Shippei? The fuck happened? Oh, that big dark staircase, that's how he got caught. Yo, you need to chill out. What is this? Bro, how'd she move so fast like that? I'm saying, me neither. Bro, you gotta get her in a triangle choke. Never mind, she has a knife. Never mind, she'll literally just fucking stab you. Does she know about his ability? Yo, how many people did she fucking kill? Oh, she was a traitor. What's the plan? Wait, why was she stopped? Why did he stop her? Uh, what the fuck? How do the shadows work, bro? Their powers, all this shit. Like, I want to learn more about that. How did he know? She's going to break his arm. I don't want to see it. I knew it. Ah. What is mother? No, I don't want to watch all these broken bones. I don't like this. Please stop. Please, please don't. Please don't. I don't want to see this shit. The hunter. It was the hunter, right? The hunter with a beard.
Oh! Oh, it's the lady with the glasses! Yes! She's the lady you motor motor <laughs> I love this shit, dude. I love this shit, dude. Yo, this. Hey, man. People are talking about how, like, like. Listen. Admittedly, I think that like one of the hidden gems of the season is, in fact, Kong Ming, right? Like, I think it's great. But people ain't talking about this show. This show's the fucking hidden gem of the season. All right. There's a lot of great anime this season. All right. Like, I could I could go through a list of all of them, right? This shit right here, right here, this shit? Come on, dude, this shit is so good. All right, man, let's talk about the episode a little bit. We can talk about some of the key things. Like, all right, some of the key things that I really wanna go over are the mother figure. Who is the mother? That's part of their grand plan. That's part of the shadow's grand plan, dealing with the mother, right? One, two, why the fuck is Ushio so dumb in this moment? Like, listen, I know all of you are gonna be so fucking mad that I was calling her stupid, idiot, all those things. I get it. And uh, I don't give a shit, okay? That was pretty stupid. Like, think about it. it. The problem is she's not thinking about it. Or maybe she doesn't have the ability to just really, like, understand the situation. You're dead. If people see you and you're dead, what kind of reaction do you think? Like, people literally watched, saw your dead body. Do you understand the type of, uh, the, the magnitude of your appearance? You can't do that. You can't do that. You could literally kill someone from shock. The fact that you're alive. And even if the, even if you do show up, they're not going to think you're real. Now, she's not aware of the shadows, admittedly. That's the one, the one caveat to this whole thing. She's not aware of the shadows, or at least she doesn't seem to be. He's not really mentioning the whole shadow thing. He's saying like you're a ghost. So she's not aware of the shadows, which means she's not aware that Mio and So and all, like they know about the shadows. So she's not aware that they will think she's a shadow. You get what I'm saying? That's the one caveat. That's that's the one thing that I would say maybe almost makes it okay that she just shows up out of the blue, even though she's supposed to be dead. Yeah, picking up where the last episode left off. He's talking to Ushio at the beach. She says she loves him. She doesn't remember anything beyond going to save the girl. Actually, I don't even know if she remembers going to save the girl. She remembers the pain and being underwater, but, or at least it's implied that she remembers being underwater. It's implied that she remembers drowning, but she does say she remembers being dead. So she thinks she's a ghost. She doesn't know what to call herself. Now we know she's a shadow. Now there's mention of the traitor. Who is the traitor? Is the traitor Ushio or is the traitor someone else? How could Ushio be the traitor if she doesn't realize she's betraying, right? Like, if you don't even recognize that, can you really be considered a traitor? Like, she didn't even know she was part of their group in the first place. She doesn't even realize she's a shadow. So I think in that sense, I don't know, I feel like maybe, maybe you can't really consider her a traitor. So maybe that's not who Mio's talking about. But then again, I mean, she is a shadow, so it's quite possible that is who she's talking about. Now she says that she loves him, which is like crazy because wow, big, big information to just drop on this guy, telling him that you love him, especially since you're dead and you know you're dead. Anyways, she realizes it's the 22nd, so it is the festival. She wants to go to the festival. She goes off, but again, she's dead. So she's walking into this festival like that. That's kind of weird. Now she remembers everything that Ushio should remember. All the shit about her past, all the conversations she's had with Shinpei and Mio, all of that stuff. She remembers that life. She remembers herself as that person. What she doesn't remember is death and everything after that, you know, becoming a shadow, all of that. She does not remember those things. But there's gotta be some way that they remember these things, right? There's like, there's gotta be something that causes them to know that because when the, when like other shadows are formed, they know these things. Anyways, Shinpei tells her like, stay, you, you like, you can't go. And there's already been this weird moment where he call, where Mio calls and Ushio answers the phone. Not good. Anyways, he goes to see Mio and he arrives, he's talking to them and you know, So's about to confess, So confesses and then everybody's like, oh my God. And then boom, Ushio shows up with a mask on, acting like that's gonna do something. It's not like how many people do you think have that blonde hair, have your voice? You've talked to these people how many times in your life? You don't think they're gonna recognize your voice? You don't think they're gonna recognize you? Literally the last time they saw you, was inside of a casket. But the time before that was in the bathing suit, literally what you're wearing in that moment. And you're acting like Ushio too. Now Mio's like, no, that's not my sister. And that's when we see the weirdness of Shinpei. Shinpei is a shadow in that moment. 
Now I'm wondering, can there be multiple shadows of one person? Because if there cannot be multiple shadows of one person, then my Shinpei being a shadow theory is 100% out of the window. We don't know. I don't know for sure but I'm pretty sure that that theory is like scrapped. I mean, I know I keep bringing it up. That's like mostly as a joke because I'm pretty sure he can't be, right? He just cannot be a shadow, just is what it is. So I'm mostly saying it as a joke, but you know, part of me still wants to believe it could be true just because like, what if the theory is true? And I'm just like fucking five head, right? That'd be dope, right? But more than likely it's not. More than likely his ability stems from Ushio's dying wish, whatever's going on with Ushio, it stems from her. That is what causes him to have this ability, is my guess. Or or what I said way earlier, his like deeper connection, uh, like his family and stuff. The fact that he had to get adopted because they died. Maybe it stems all the way from then. I just don't know. Maybe he has a deeper connection to the shadows. You know, I, I've gone over those things a bunch. Don't want to spend too much time on him. But I'm right about it. We'll refer back to like episode one or two, three. I don't remember when I brought it up. I think it was episode three. I think it was last episode. It is a funny moment though that he's having like with Ushio when they're like, when he answers the phone and like, there are some funny faces. I, what I got to say is like, for as serious as the tone is, there's also some pretty funny moments. Like there's some comedic faces and like even when like Ushio pops up, right? This man so is like, <gasps> like making some of the weirdest, funniest faces and it's great. But yeah, going back to Shinpei, he holds Ushio in like such a forceful way and his shadow starts to show he starts glitching the shadow shows we realize oh shit he's a shadow so we flash back 10 minutes prior and that's when we see what has occurred we see that shinpei got stopped by mio who just killed a bunch of people wild and he gets taken down there's a shadow shinpei that takes over he's going off that's where they bring up this 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 mother person i'm assuming it's a shadow uh they bring up mother what's going on with with that that's like really interesting does it have something to actually do with shinpei and mio and stuff or is it just the mother of the shadows is, does it have something to do with the island specifically there's a lot of questions i have but very little information to to go off of right that's fine in the end Shinpei gets fucked up, but he gets saved by the lady with the glasses. The lady with the glasses shows up. Bam! Shotgun. Blast her in the fucking face. Or in the back of the head, I guess. Blows off Mio's head. Things are really getting interesting. I think she mentions in that moment there, she actually mentions something. She says a line that I think she's mentioned before. The word Narezushi isn't used in Hitogashima, is it? I'm pretty sure she said this shit prior. I've never eaten it, have you? That's literally something I'm pretty sure she said that to. Her. I'm wondering, does she also have this ability to go back in time or not? I mean, we don't see the different eye colors on her. She's got one set of eye color. Probably not the case, right? She is kind of cute though, but I don't know, man. She is kind of cute. Maybe it's glasses. I don't fucking know what it is, but she is. Yeah, I'm wondering, man. I'm wondering what's coming here. I'm pretty sure she's some sort of agent sent here, but again, we just don't know. It's really interesting though, man. This is probably, this is probably up there for one of my favorites of the season so far. We're four episodes in and like this spy family, you know what? I don't want to go down a list of all of them because I don't want people to like feel like their series is shunned or like look overlooked. So we're not going to go down the list, but this is really good. It's just really, really good. So with that said, I'd love to know what you all thought about this down in the comments below. How are you feeling about summertime rendering, specifically about these, the, this, this character, the lady showing up, you know, with the glasses, specifically about Shinpei being taken over by a shadow you know, Ushio showing up, like the whole conversations with Ushio, this mother that's talked about. A lot of crazy, oh, and Mio and Shinpei are aware of Shinpei's ability to, to, to reset. That's another crazy thing. But I would just love to hear your theories or thoughts on all of that stuff down in the comments below. Though, don't spoil anything, please. If you have something to say that would contain a spoiler, uh, don't, just don't spoil. Or like skip a bunch of lines so that way everyone sees your, you know, that. They, they can press read more to read your spoilers. They don't see your actual spoilers. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime themed content since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.